in the interim let us run the roll call right now how many people are in the class today so many people right there the african historic class and i want to say thank you so much to all you wonderful people right there the african historic class join us on twitter and also on facebook where you will see everything clear right there the african historic class i want to say thank you to all you wonderful people right there the african historic class i see you manasseh azure awuni thank you so much tj all the way from care city aka kaswa for joining us i also see you mighty don duvasti aka the mark kuchoko engineer here you are also smiling at me ras otun for nana to to follow to jaja Thank you so much. Yeah, Ras Osage yeah, for Dua Bill. Yeah. Tin Dando. E Gumado. E Yenzor Bill. Thank you so much, and I do appreciate to not everybody. K is also here. Is our photo archivist right in the African history class? I see Abna Koko right in the African history class. Thank you so much, Abna Koko, for joining us. We have been seen in a long while. Oh, you've been sick? Oh, okay. All right, sit down. Thank you so much, Abna Koko, for joining us. We appreciate you and we love you. What did you say? Oh, okay. You're coming back to media general. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you so much. We do appreciate it. We'll talk more. Hold your peace. We'll talk later. All right. So this is the African history class. And I'm most excited to be with you. Many more people right here, the African history class. I want to say thank you so much to uh, Clement Plasma for joining us. We appreciate you. Buhari, the AC specialist, is all the way from Nima. And I see many more people right here, the African history class. See King Solomon AOAF. He's all the way from Nigeria, from Yoruba land. Thank you so much terry mapulisana i see you and i do appreciate you thank you for joining us all the way from zimbabwe and i see you too smiling at me i know what you want and i'm about to give it to you thank you so much for joining us oh my god you see who i see in class nana kone do ajiman rollins thank you so much for joining us we do appreciate you we love you nana kone do ajiman rollins i also see you smiling at me see who i see hey elombini or bini west daddy bosco is also right in the african history class thank you so much for joining us we do appreciate you mm, 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 mm. my brother my sister we want to say thank you to all you wonderful people right here the african history class now if your name has not been mentioned feel no way you certainly would have your name mentioned right here the african history class today we're going to tell you a story and this story is about to go down and the story is going to last seven minutes if you are ready, let's go. Remember, this is brought to you by the kind courtesy of Mark Bansi. And of course, Mark Bansi is that wonderful, wonderful fragrance and space scenting company born right here in Ghana. Call them on 0242250574 and get your Spirit of Timbuktu line of perfumes. Uh, they nourish your skin and they give you a very beautiful aroma. Oh my God. They have the Ndewura Jakpa, the Nefertiti, the Dinga Sisi. They all bear the names of our great, 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 great African leaders. No problem at all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, God have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So the class is going to be very short today. And right after that, I have a beautiful interview that I'm going to be having. And you're going to benefit from that interview. It's going to last only seven minutes. <laughs> Today, my brother, my sister, we are looking at Jimmy Lee Jackson. And Jimmy is spelled J-I-M-M-I-E. Lee is L-E-E. -E, and Jackson is J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Lee Jackson was born in 1938. He was born on December 16 in 1938. And he was born in Marion in Alabama. My brother, my sister, at a very young age, he was very religious. He went to church. And he loved to sing and also to preach in church. He belonged to the Baptist church alongside his family. And they went to the Baptist church every now and then. He was a prominent member of the Baptist church. He was named after his own father. And after his father had died, Jackson, who was only 18 at the death of his father, decided that he was going to uphold the legacy of his father by preaching and also being very, very prominent and regular in the Baptist church. He took over working on and managing the family farm as well. He also had a daughter, my brother, my sister. 
Some other sources tell us that he also served in the Vietnam War. My brother, my sister, such a wonderful personality. He became a deacon in the church. After moving back to his hometown from Indiana, Jackson worked as a laborer and a woodcutter, earning six dollars each day he worked. He was ordained in the summer of 1964. My brother, my sister, summer of 1964. And the summer of 1964, my brother, my sister, he was 26 years old. 1964. 26, in fact, he was between 25 and 26, just moving on to 26 years. Now, in 1964, when he was ordained as minister of the Baptist Church, it was the happiest moment of his life. You know why? He became the youngest deacon of his St. James Baptist Church right there in Marion, Alabama, the place of his birth. Jackson had been able to achieve and accomplish his very first dream in life to uphold the legacy of his father as a preacher man of the Baptist Church. He became a deacon and the youngest at the age of 25, heading towards 26. Jackson had tried to register to vote for four years without success because black people were not allowed to register, let alone even vote at the elections. Under the discriminatory system maintained by Alabama officials since the turn of the 20th century. His mother, who was called Viola, and grandmother, in fact, maternal grandmother, Keja Lee, had also attempted to register, but unsuccessful. He wanted to vote. He wanted to be part of the voices that chose and elected leaders for the whole of America. Jackson was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr., who had come with other Saudi Christian Leadership Conference staff, that's the CSCLC, to the nearby Selma, Alabama church. In fact, to help local activists in their voter registration campaign, Jackson attended meetings several nights a week at Zion's Chapel Methodist Church. My brother, my sister, it was there Martin Luther King encouraged them to start a demonstration so that they will be recognized, my brother, my sister, as human beings and be allowed to vote in America. Little did he know that this was going to be the end of his life. He had a beautiful daughter. He was taking care of the family business. He had just been ordained a deacon in the church, the youngest deacon. Oh, little did he know. See what happened now. On the night of February 18, 1965, he was 26 years and a few months old. About 500 black people who were organized by the SLCL, SCCL, that's the Southern Christian Leadership Conference, SCLC. And the activist who was in charge of this was C.T. Vivian. C.T. Vivian. My brother, my sister. They all decided to organize and meet. And what were they supposed to do? They were supposed to demonstrate against the inhumanitarian act of not allowing black people to vote. Oh my God. Inspired by Martin Luther King Jr., our hero for today, Jimmy Lee Jackson, decided to join. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. But listen to the interesting thing that happened. They decided to go on the streets and decided to do their things. They walked on the street as marches. In other words, they were marching. Now the marchers planned to sing hymns and return to the church. So they were singing Christian hymns on the streets whilst demonstrating. Police later said that they believed the crowd was planning a jailbreak. Could you believe this? A Christian group singing on the streets and demonstrating for equal rights to vote. Police said they believed that they were planning a jailbreak. Amongst the marchers were our hero for today, Jackson, and his 16-year-old sister, Ima Jean. His mother was also part of it, 
and his maternal grandmother who we mentioned earlier, Keja Lee. They were met at the post office by a line of Morian police officers, county sheriff's deputies, and Alabama state troopers. Now, during his standoff, street lights were abruptly turned off. And remember, it was in the night. Some sources say that they were shot out by the police. And the police began to beat the protesters. They beat them and beat them so mercilessly. They beat children. They beat, in fact, grandmothers and grandfathers. They beat everybody. Amongst those beating were two United Press International photographers whose cameras were smashed. And NBC News correspondent Richard Va Valeriani. They were beaten badly and hospitalized because they suffered so many injuries. The marchers turned and scattered towards the church. They decided that they would return to the church and not continue with the demonstration. Jackson, his sister, his mother Viola Jackson, and his 82-year-old grandmother Keja Lee ran into Max Cafe behind the church, pursued by state troopers. Police clubbed Lee to the floor in the kitchen. They beat him up badly. When Viola attempted to pull the police off, she was also beaten bad, 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 bad. When Jackson tried to protect his mother, one trooper threw him against a cigarette machine. He then pulled out a gun after hitting his head and his abdomen several times. It was not until 2.05 that trooper James Bernard Fowler was publicly associated with, the, associated with the shooting after he pulled out his gun. People heard the gunshot, but they didn't know who was shot. It was just after, my brother, my sister, 2005, that trooper James Bernard Fowler was seen as the man who shot. It was never known. The sheriff and his deputies kept the identity of the shooter shrouded he shot and killed our hero for today jimmy lee jackson who was a christian deacon he had just been ordained deacon a few months back and he was out there demonstrating peacefully from the demonstration they were supposed to return to the church to pray in fact his mother was beaten up and when he tried to stop the policeman from beating his mother he pulled out a gun and shot and killed him. In 1965, my brother, my sister, the name of the policeman never came up until 2005. From, two, from 1965 all the way to 2005. How many years? 20 solid years, my brother, my sister. 40 solid years, I beg your pardon. It took 40 years for the American police to release the name. Of the man who shot our hero for today he died eight days later in the hospital my brother my sister having succumbed to his wounds and injuries today we remember this great black man two memorial services were held for jimmy lee jackson martin luther king jr spoke at one of them and he said jimmy lee jackson's death says to us that we must work passionately and unrelentingly to make the American dream a reality. His death must prove that uh, unmerited suffering does not go unredeemed. We must not be bitter. We must not have our ideas of uh, retaliating with violence. We must not lose faith in our own white brothers. Mm -mm -mm. This was what he said. And as a result of Jackson's death and other uh, violence meted out, in fact, black people finally got the right to vote. They got the right to register and also to vote. But some people had to go down in order to make this a reality. But a grand jury declined to interdict Fowler in September 1965, denying him only by his surname. If I beg your pardon, identifying him only by his surname, Fowler. They didn't want to put out his full name. He was never convicted. However, in 2005, 
Fowler admitted in an interview with John Fleming of the Anistine Star that he had shot Jackson in 1965, saying that it was in self-defense, in part of an effort to prosecute civil uh, rights era crimes on May 10, 2007, 42 years after the crime, he, the recently uh, elected district attorney for Perry County charged Fowler on counts of first degree and second degree murder for Jackson's death, and he surrendered to authorities. On November 15, 2010, Fowler pleaded guilty to manslaughter and apologized publicly for killing Jackson, expressing remorse. He said he had acted in self-defense. He was sentenced to six months in jail. Arguing that the sentence was too weak, Perry County uh, Commissioner Albert Turner Jr., a civil rights leader, said the agreement was a slap in the face of the people of this county. Because of health problems requiring surgery, Fowler was released after serving five months out of the six months. Today we remember this great black man. Today we remember you, Papa. Papa Papa Waebi. Papa Waebi. He was a Christian. He went out to demonstrate. He only wanted black people to be able to get justice, to vote. But James Fowler shot him fatally. He died eight days later in hospital at the age of 26. Oh, Papa. He left behind a daughter. Papa Uriyaminko. Papa Miss Uriyaminko Wate. Papa Minubako. Yeah, Papa. This is his grave. And if you look there, you will see his grave. Jimmy Lee Jackson, as posted by my uh, producer. This is Lee, 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 Jimmy Lee Jackson. He was a voting rights martyr. He laid down his life. So black people in America could vote. Yeah, Papa. Papa, Missy Minubeko. Papa, Missy Minubeko. Papa, Missy Minubeko. Yeah, Papa. Papa, bye bye yo. Papa, Minubeko. Yeah, Papa. Papa, Minubeko. Do, do, Bobby. Tu tu gavi papa mula ho meo mama mula ho meo au na ima vinye panumba nungpo in the 